Hello guys! Well, as we all know, the old house is coming to its end. Yeah, I know it's super sad that we have to say goodbye to our beloved characters the 8th of April, but I really wanted to take the opportunity to talk about one of the ships that I have most problem with since I entered to the old house community and it is Bushlow. The first time that I heard about Bushlow was when I was scrolling in my For You page on TikTok and I saw a debate about Hunt Low, you know, casual. Um, I entered to a profile of a person that had like a fan art of these two and I felt really uncomfortable because all the account was based on it. Fan arts, um, edits, etc. And it really put me out of my nerves because Basha is the bully of Willow. She has always been her bully and she will always be, probably. And I know many couples on the old house start with this uh, dynamic between the protagonist and their love interest, their romantic interest. Like for example, Lumity, uh, Amity started as a bully and then she developed, or for example with Gastolomil that I know, they are not a canon ship but many people ship them, me included. Matholomew started as a bully, but, but then he developed. Uh, however, Bosha is still Willow's bully. Nowadays, even in the last episode, for the future, she still is being mean and petty to Willow. And one of the main reasons of Willow's trauma is Bosha, as she says in that scene with all the plants. Bosha's brain will always just be... We cannot say that the damage that Basha has made to Willow is little or is insignificant. It is really big. Mostly all of her insecurities are caused because of her. So I think it's really toxic and it's really, uh, how do you say, like problematic to ship this because you're literally normalizing mistreatment. And um, emotional and psychological damage. And what annoys me the most is that these are the same people that critique a lot the old Disney because of their toxic relationships with absurdly bad gender roles where the man is the strong and empowered and mistreats the woman and then the woman is like more shy and timid but at the same time, they ship a couple that is practically the same, but like with the girls. And yeah, I know we all love LGBTQ uh, representation. Like, I love Lumity, I love Raera, I love Gasolomil, I love the relationship between Willow's dads. But only because you like uh, queer representation, it doesn't mean that you have to ship all the things that are gay, even though they are uh, literally and logically bad, you know? Uh, I don't think that in this case you can say, no, I'm shipping this because we are so scarce of uh, LGBTQ couples that we need to hold down in her canons. Literally, Dana gave us lots of healthy and good representation, so why are we so focused on searching for the bad things? Like, Bojolo could be such a cute couple if Bosha wasn't a dick of a person, and yeah, I'm sorry for all Bosha um, stands, but I have met uh, real people that are like that girl. And it's not cool, you know, it's not cool to appreciate and want her to be with, with her victim, because, yeah, Willow, uh, if I have to remind you, is Bosha's victim. Yeah, it's not a thing for playing, it's not a joke, she's the victim. I really want the victim to be with her abuser. And I know you may say that I am telling all of this because I am a Hunt Low stan, and no, I had been against Bosha even before that Hauntlow was 
I think, okay? And even to prove my point, I can tell you that I think Goldrick is a ship that it's absolutely fine. Yeah, Edric and Hunter only talked like one time for 16 seconds, but if they were a couple, I don't think they would be toxic because neither of them have bullied or damaged emotionally or physically the other. I really won't directly judge you because of your favorite ships, but I think this is a good space like for reflection and for you to think why do you like this ship so much? Like, I am deeply concerned about you. Because it isn't like, okay, most of people doesn't like this ship because they haven't even met. That's one thing. But uh, if people doesn't like your ship because it is damaging, like literally inside and outside the series is because of something. We have to remember that abuse uh, on a couple or with friends or with your fellas in the classroom exists not only in the old house, it exists too in real life. So if we, if we start to normalize these actions in a series, nothing tells us that we could start to normalize it in real life. So please, if you see two girls in your classroom and one is mean to the other, it isn't because she likes her or they like each other, or they will be in a couple. The thing that is happening there is bullying, and it could be really, really, really dangerous to the mental health or physical he health of the victim. So please consider your action, consider what are you consuming, and consider why you like the things you like. Well, and as an extra parenthesis, Please respect Willow more, she deserves more, and please, she's a good character. Appreciate her, oh my god. Okay, so that was the end of the video, I hope you like it. Yeah, I know it was like super random, the last week I talked about random NPCs, and now I'm talking about deep themes about relationship and abusive couples, only because a non-canon ship of the old house. Yeah. This is going to be really recurrent in this channel, I suppose. So, if you like it, hit that like button. <laughs> okay, no. Uh, give me a like, or a subscription, or a comment, or visit my Twitter, or Instagram, or Twitch, and that sort of things. Or only come when I publish videos, like, that is fine too. So, I hope you like it, and bye.